In this video, we will look at three examples that will help us practice congruent angles and angle bisectors. In example A, it says how many angles are in the picture below? Label each one two different ways. So first of all, let's try to find the different angles. And there's actually three angles in this diagram. The first one I'm going to highlight in yellow. The second one I'm going to highlight in blue. And then the third angle is actually the larger angle. That would be the sum of these two earlier angle measures. So this one is going to be in pink. So it's the whole thing. OK, so for the yellow angle, if we want to name it, we have to use three letters because if we just use one letter, if I just used uh, U, angle U, that could mean any of the letters in this or angles in this picture. So you have to use three letters and U has to be the second letter. So an example would be angle X, U, Y. And you can get that by just following the angle around and f picking the three points that you end up with. So X, U, Y. Or you could go in the other direction and end up with angle Y, U, X. So it said label each one two different ways. Here are two ways of labeling that yellow angle. So going to the blue angle, again, we want to use three letters. Guiding ourselves around the angle, we see that we hit the three points of Y, U, and then Z. So angle Y, U, Z, or angle Z, U, Y, depending on which order we went, either one is fine. And the last angle is the large angle, which we labeled um, sort of purple pink color. And that would be angle X, U, Z, or the other way around, Z, U, X. X, U, Z, or angle Z, U, X. Now the biggest things you need to remember are, one, you can't label any of these angles with just the letter U because that is ambiguous and I don't know what you're talking about if you just say angle U. And also, when you are using the three letters, in every single case, the middle letter, letter is U because U is the vertex of all three angles in this picture. Going to example B, what is the measure of each angle? Now it's marked right here with the arc that these two angles are congruent because they each have one angle mark. So that means if the two angles are congruent, we can set up an equation. 5x plus 7 has to equal 3x plus 23 because the two angles have to be the same. Now you just use your algebra skills to solve this equation. So we want to get x by itself on one side. So I'd minus 3x from both sides. That gives me two x's on the left and no more x's on the right. Now I'll minus 7 from both sides to get x by itself. And you end up with 2x equals 16, which means x equals 8. Now the question said, what is the measure of each angle? So at this point, we have to go back and plug in 8 to either expression to find out the measure of the angle. So I'm going to plug 8 into the 5x plus 7. So now x is 8, so it's 5 times 8 plus 7, which gives me 47 degrees. If I plug in 8 to the other angle, I should also end up getting 47 degrees. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 23 would give me 47. And on to the last example, is OP the angle bisector of angle SOT? So that means, is o, does OP cut angle SOT in half? So that's the first question. Let's do that first. Well, in this picture, angle SOT is right here. And it's saying, is OP, this center line, the angle bisector? Well, I can tell by these two angle markings that those two angles are congruent, which means that OP has to be the angle bisector because it does cut it into two congruent pieces. It cuts the angle into two congruent angles, that is. So the answer to the first question is yes. 
if the measure of angle ROT equals 165, so let's find that. ROT is the whole big angle. So this whole thing is 165 degrees. And we actually already had that this over here is 57. What is the measure of angle SOP and POT? So if the whole thing is 165 and this is 57, I can first figure out the rest of this right here by doing 165 minus 57, which gives me 108. So now I know that this whole thing is 108, and since it was an angle bisector of OP, each of these angles is congruent. So I divide 108 by 2 and get 54 degrees for each of those angles. So SOP is going to have a measure of 54 degrees, and POT is also going to be 54 degrees. And just to double check, you could check your answer by adding up 57, 54, and 54, and checking if that equaled to 165. All right, now you should do some practicing on your own and look at the guided practice and then the practice at the end to see how well you understand this concept.